So right now we're just going to make up, or we're going to get started with making the um, shepherd's pie. So right now we've got the uh, water boiling here. Um, right, we're just going to rehydrate the corn and the uh, hamburger. So um, this hamburger here is, uh, I dried this at home using my uh, dehydrator. Uh, they call it gravel. Um, and it's essentially hamburger that's cooked and then you um, drain out the grease and uh, um, then you dry it because if you have any grease in it, it won't dry properly so and this is what you end up with anyways we're going to put uh, the boiling water into this uh, my little bowl here now you don't need boiling water to uh, rehydrate but it does make the process go faster. And in this particular case, this is a multi-step process. So I'm doing the corn and the hamburger, and then I'm gonna be doing the potatoes and gravy. So I want the corn and the hamburger to stay warm. And this is where the uh, pot cozies here come in. These uh, cozies here, if I can get this off, all right, there we go. So these cozies here are made at home. Um, I have the same ones for the for the pot, and they're just made out of um, uh, duct insulation with uh, tin tape. And you just then take your container, put that in that section here. I take the top section, put that on, and that will um, um, keep that piping hot for uh, for quite a long time. Uh, hour, hour and a half, two hours. Uh, it'll certainly keep it warm for a very long time. And uh, this will rehydrate pretty quickly. You give this about uh, 15 minutes. So once uh, we're at about 10 minutes, I will get the uh, potato started and everything should come together about the same time. Our corn and our hamburger is uh, rehydrated. So right now we're ready to do the potatoes. I'm going to stick the potatoes in here. And I'm actually going to use whatever water liquid we have left over. And it's always nice to use the liquid from uh, from anything that you're rehydrating because it'll have more uh, flavor to it. So this will give the flavor of the, uh, the corn and the hamburger to the uh, potatoes. So, and now these potatoes have um, powdered butter, like a molly butter. A little bit of that already in it, as well as powdered milk. So, uh, we're going to need a little bit more water here. Okay, I think that should be about right. Now, for the corn and the hamburger, I'm going to put the lid back on top to keep that hot. And I'm going to put, I just need to do the gravy. So, again, the beauty of this system here is I don't really actually need the lid on this pot to keep this stuff hot because I'm going to need the lid for the gravy so I'm going to keep this hot in there like so now I have the lid for the gravy and uh, we'll get that started. So now we have the uh, the gravy is all cooked up here this is a pretty easy one you just add water and in that gravy mix and you just stir until it's done so now we're just going to take the uh, corn and the hamburger Add it into our bowl here, and uh, kind of scoop the potatoes. Get the potatoes up on top. And there you have it. Shepherd's pie. In the uh, in the back country, fantastic! This is really a, a favorite of mine. May not look like much, but uh, it tastes great, especially whenever you've been out in the woods for a few days. So, anyways, I'm gonna enjoy dinner here. We got our fire going, um, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna hang out and probably do another early night.